Under the Lights kickoff show sponsored by Bill Dickinson Chevrolet Buick. Well, we've been talking about it all night long. A tribute to desegregation. 53 years later, the Gladewater Bears won't be the Bears tonight. They'll be the Weldon Bumblebees. Yeah, it's a great honor to the past. We saw something similar a couple weeks ago in Tatum. Mm -hmm. It really meant a lot to the community there. It helped the team on the field as well. It's so inspiring to see these teams and these schools recognize the past in a way that it hadn't been in the past. They say if you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it. So I took a trip to Gladewater this week to talk about this inaugural moment. It's a football game turned history lesson in Gladewater. For the first time, the Bears are set to honor the Weldon Bumblebees by wearing their jerseys. Now, Weldon was the city's all-black high school football team before Gladewater ISD desegregated back in 1969. I, I, I don't think people in the community really realized all that it is. And, uh, you know, we want to make it a tradition and just honor it every year and just... Uh, you know, our kids need to know about the tradition here, not only from Weldon, but from like past Gladewater players. So let's get to the history of it all. The Bubble Bees were formed back in 1939 by coach Curtis Calvin Cooksey and reigned for 28 years with just three head coaches in its history, including former Gladewater Mayor Walter Derrick, who coached legends like former UT linebacker Stoney Clark. While Clark played for the Bears, he is a direct descendant of history. My father played at Weldon high school and um, was one of the last classes that were there so I heard those stories growing up about how rigorous and how tough it was and it also set a set of parameters for us to follow when it was time for us to get on the field. A history so rich yet not far removed with players still in direct lineage to segregation. Attending Weldon themselves but in its transformed version which is now the elementary school. I had two grandparents that both graduated from Weldon so it, it hits close to home with me especially you know to try to go out there and represent that the school they play so hard for you know and before the schools were integrated together feel me all the black people went to Weldon so it just means a lot to go out there and play for them knowing what they went through. But Weldon wasn't just the all-black high school football team they dominated for decades 11 district championships and three-time runner-ups to the state championship that DNA then integrated into the Bears system building a football powerhouse. Growing up the tradition was so big here, that's all I ever wanted to be. All I ever wanted to be was a Gladewater Bear. The Bears now beginning a new tradition that goes well beyond the field. Football has transformed America more than anything just by, you know, the same same guys get in the huddle and, and they have the same goal and, and color doesn't matter. It's a real big honor playing on a team with different colored people. It just shows that it's, it's a bigger purpose to playing together than just to color your skin. We play as a team. It's a team sport. We're going to win regardless. I wouldn't be wearing this jersey if they wouldn't have went through what they went through back in 1968 and special. And it's amazing seeing so many people out here actually wearing the green t-shirts. You know, there are green and white balloons. And people of all ages too. Absolutely. I love it when football transcends the moment. You know, this is more than a football game. This is a history lesson for some of these kids. And, you know, hey, Gladewater is doing a great job of keep, keeping the history here because, as I mentioned, Wilden is now the elementary school. Same building as the as the segregated high school, but now the elementary school. And they named a park after it. Coach Cooksey has a street named after him. I mean, they're keeping the culture rich here in Gladewater. Yeah, but there's still going to be so many people who do know and so many people who don't know what happened there and what happened during that period of segregation and integration. So it's great to have a moment like this to really bring it into the forefront. Absolutely. Coach LeVere said this is the first time they're doing it, but they're going to keep doing it every season, and I think that is a great idea. But 